Hi, my name is Jeremy Dahl. I'm Ashley Fabrico. And uh, we are taking general chemistry at Papillon Community College. Uh, for our project, we decided to make biodiesel, and now we're going to show you how to test the water content. For this experiment, you will need reaction vessel reagent B, biodiesel reagent A, syringes, scissors, and goggles. Also have a notebook ready with a table so that you will be able to record your values once the reaction begins. Warning: The packets of reagent A in this kit contain calcium hydride which can cause eye and skin burns. Calcium hydride in contact with water will produce hydrogen gas which is highly flammable. Avoid getting the chemical on your skin or in your eyes. Keep the kit and reagent A away from water and water vapor. Do not use the kit near any open flame or sparks. Do not permit smoking when the kit is being used. Um, first off, we're going to use reagent A, calcium hydride. We're going to use two packets. And for this, we're going to put the, put it, <laughs> put it in the tiny hole of the sandy bray kit. But in order to get the reagent A in the hole nicely, cut the packet at a diagonal angle. Okay, so now we're going to take 30 milliliters of the biodiesel and put it in the large chamber. And now we're going to put in 10 milliliters of reagent E. So now you want to um, close the sand debris and then you want to release the pressure with this little Remember to shake the vessel vigorously for the first minute, checking the pressure at 20, 40, and 60 seconds. After that, shake for 10 seconds, let's sit for 50 seconds, and record every minute, up to 15 minutes. Don't forget to record the temperature at the end of the 15 minutes along with your final PSI. So now we're going to start the timer and we're going to shake the vessel vigorously. Okay, so if it's over 14 PSI's, it's a fail, but this one is good. After 15 minutes, we're going to take the temperature of the suspension. Release the pressure. two minutes we got a temperature of about 29.0 degrees celsius after you take your temperature and final psi you want to refer to this chart in order to complete our calculations you will need the water test instruction packet along with your completed data table we start with our final pressure of 6.4 psi then we refer to the table on page 11 to get the conversion factor for 29 degrees Celsius is 0.9868. Multiplying the two gives us 6.3155. We then take that value and refer to the 0.15% range table found on page 9 of your packet. We took the value of 6.3155, multiplied it by 100 to give us the parts per million. Because we only had two sig figs, we must carry over that many sig figs to the pressure, giving us a final water content of 630 parts per million, or 0.06%. This does not pass the ASTM standard of 0.05% or 500 parts per million water.